Hello friends, in our previous videos, we have done the circle, tangent to the circle and secant line of the circle. Let us recall all these points one by one. Point 1. A tangent to a circle is a line that intersects the circle at only one point. Means, the tangent line will not touch the circle more or less than one point. Point number 2. A secant is called a tangent when both of the endpoints of the corresponding chord coincide. Means, when the endpoints of secant line meet with each other, the secant line becomes tangent line. Next point, the common point of tangent and the circle is called the point of contact of the tangent. Number 4, from any point on the circle, there can be one and only one tangent. Means, when a point is lying on the circumference of the circle, we can draw only one tangent line. Point number 5, the tangent at any point of circle is perpendicular or normal to the radius through the point of contact. Means, the radius and the tangent both are perpendicular to each other. When the radius is drawn from the point of contact of tangent. Next point, point number 6. There will be no tangent if a point lies inside a circle. It will be secant line. It means tangent can be drawn only on the circumference of the circle, not from the point inside it. Next, point number 7. There will be exactly two tangents if the point lies outside the circle. Means, from the point outside the circle, two tangents can be drawn. Point number 8. The lengths of tangents drawn from an external point. Means, two tangents that lie on the two sides of same point. The length of these two tangents will be equal. And the last point is, if a line PQ passes through the circle and have two intersecting points with the circle, it is called secant of the circle means line is passing from inside of the circle and it is touching the circumference of the circle this line is called secant line these are the basic points that one must know before doing the sums based on the topic tangent to the circle let us practice the examples of this topic now we begin with example one draw a circle and two lines parallel to a given line such that one is tangent and other a secant to the circle. So according to the question, we have to draw two parallel lines and one line should be tangent, the other one secant line. Here look at the figure first. We take a circle whose center is O and diameter is AB. Now we draw a line PQ that is passing through point D and is also parallel to the diameter AB. Again, we draw one more line LM that is parallel to diameter AB and it is passing through inside of the circle, means it is a secant line. Now here, AB is diameter, PQ is parallel to AB, LM is also parallel to AB. It means both PQ and LM are parallel to each other. In this way, we have drawn two lines parallel to each other, one tangent and one secant. Let us proceed further. Example 2. Find the length of the tangent from a point which is at a distance of 10 cm from the center of the circle of radius 6 cm. To solve this sum, we draw the diagram according to the things that are given to us. We take the circle with center O. OP is the line joining the external point P with the center O which is at distance 10 cm from the center and OQ is the radius of the circle it is given equal to 6 cm. PQ is the tangent line whose length we have to find out. Now PQ is question mark, PO is 10 cm and OQ is 6 cm. These are the two values given to us. Look at the figure 
carefully the triangle OQP. It is a right angle triangle because radius makes a right angle with tangent. And for the right angles, we have most famous theorem, the Pythagoras theorem, according to which hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of square of perpendicular and square of base. From here we get tangent PQ is equal to under root of PO square minus OQ square. Now we put the values PO is 10 cm, OQ is 6 cm. So our equation becomes 10 square minus 6 square whole under the square root. 10 square is 100, 6 square is 36. So the equation becomes 100 minus 36 that is 64 under root and it is equal to 8 centimeters and we have found the value of tangent that is PQ is equal to 8 centimeters. In this way we can do the sums based on tangents quite easily. Next proceeding further example number 3 prove that the tangents drawn at the ends of a diameter of a circle are parallel. Here we have to make the diameter of the circle means the line passing from the center of the circle and from the end points of that diameter we have to draw two tangent lines and then make them parallel to each other. Let us start the proof or the solution of this example. Let AO be the diameter of the circle. Circle has the center O. Now AP is the tangent passing from end point A and BQ is the tangent line passing from the end point B of the diameter. Now we know that the radius and tangent line makes the angle of 90 degree with each other. It means angle OAP is 90 degree and angle OBQ is also 90 degrees. Now when we add these two equations, we get angle OAP plus angle OBQ is equal to 90 plus 90 means 180 degrees. Now recall our previous knowledge of parallel lines. Suppose AP and BQ are two lines intersected by line AB. Then if their interior angles, internal angle sum is 180 degree, then we will say that these two lines are parallel to each other. Means the condition of parallelism is the sum of internal angles should be 180 degrees. And for the present sum, we have already proved that the total of angle A and angle B is 180 degree and from here it is our result that line AP is parallel to line BQ. It means these are the tangents lines drawn at the ends of the diameter and these tangent lines are parallel to each other. In this way we are able to solve this example also. So friends this is all for today. Do the same sums from your course book also. And for your queries, write to us in our comment box. For the notification of our more videos, please press the bell button and subscribe our channel. That is all for today. See you in the next video. Till then, work hard and take care. Bye-bye.